So this is about how much attention to pay to every single pixel. The next one, squeeze and excitation, is about how much attention to pay to every single channel. So the previous paper was paying attention across height and width. This one is paying attention across channels. And then uh, this was an assignment for you to watch the video. So I'm not gonna redo that because you can just watch that. But are there any questions about this? One cool thing about attention is that you can actually visualize it. The previous one, we visualized it. And here you can actually visualize in terms of your channels. These are your channels. It's a single, uh, it's gonna give you a function basically because for each one of these channels, you know the corresponding color. And that's what, what we are plotting here. So this axis is the corresponding color, which is gonna be from zero to one. And this other axis is the number of points. And then you're starting to gain some intuition of what is actually happening in the neural network. Earlier on in your layers, in early layers, closer to your image, there is not much discrimination between a goldfish, a pike, a plane, a cliff, or the average of everything else. There is not much difference. The plots are on top of each other. But as you go deeper and deeper into your neural network towards where you are, where you are actually going to classify towards the labels, then you're going to start to see these uh, curves separating and they become more discriminative. So the features that you learn initially in your neural network, they're gonna be generic features, but as you get closer to the end of your neural network, your features are gonna become more discriminative and they're gonna become task dependent, good for classification. Any questions about squeeze and excitation? Okay, perfect. I guess we can move on.